Well, hello there. I just wanted to uh, make a little behind-the-scenes video about the things that I do here and also make a quick review of this PS2 to HDMI converter. So I bought this HDMI converter uh, plus some other converters uh, to different consoles so that I don't need to use my old converter brick that takes a, a lot of space and need like 10 different freaking cables to function. Now here comes this magnificent product uh, that's the size of a USB stick and advertises itself as quote-unquote hassle-free plug-and-play as you go. No power adapter, no messy cords, uh, just one HDMI cable. Wowzers! Sounds freaking dandy! So I take this thing out of the box and immediate confusion. What the heck is this tiny USB cable? I checked the manual and it says USB slash 5 volt input. Huh? Okay, so it needs power then. I would consider this as a power adapter because it needs to be plugged in, right? Eh, okay, sure. I'm a smart little boy and figure that I can use the PS2's USB ports to power it up. So I grab my PS2 Slim, because I don't want it to take too much space. I plug everything in and... Nothing! Okay, so not to worry, I'm still a smart little boy. I figured out it has to be to the older model, right? Yeah. I'll go grab the older model, plug everything in, and still nothing. Well, now I get pissed and go to their website to troubleshoot. Well, here we can see that it's definitely not for the Slim or the PS1, because I tried that too, but indeed for the older model, just as I thought. Ha ha! So what the heck went wrong? Well, I was supposed to know to go and switch the output mode from RPG to component. I didn't even know PS2 had a component cable, let alone that there is a menu for it. Cause you know, I never spent time on these menus, I played games with this thing. And of course, after checking the manual, there is a cryptic note about this whole thing. But of course, I was distracted by the 5 volt cable thing. So since I can't get a picture, now I gotta go and grab my stupid RCA cable so that I can go to the damn menu and change the mode so I can get this thing to function. So here it is in its awful glory, sucking power from the USB port and functioning, barely. This setup took me hours. I, I had to run back and forth, get some more stuff, come back, get more stuff, find a working controller, and here it is saying, oh, it's a quick plug and play. <laughs> yeah, really, is it now? Well, now I can finally record some footage from my PlayStation 2, because my library of games is humongous. So, at least something good came out of this. Yeah. Well, that's about it. Uh, uh, yeah. Goodbye. Bye.